we received the unique opportunity to attend the first kickoff and to see the official field for this year's game. The Alliance switch is a very difficult part for FRC teams to replicate. They use heavy-duty oiled bearings that allow the switch to be affected by a small change in weight. You can see here that taking off just one cube has turned the switch significantly. We didn't notice any way that you can keep the switch stuck to one side without directly manipulating it. The scale is just like a switch, but has a much bigger change in height. If you are losing, you will have a significantly harder time placing power cubes into the scale. The portal is found on either side of the field as well as a part of the exchange. It consists of a piece of PVC tube running through a slot, acting as a handle. It seems weak and easy to jam. If you put it in uh, sideways here and you push too hard too fast, it's going to get jammed up on the bar on top. So you either got to repeatedly put it in the same way or kind of finesse it real slow. There's also zip ties that are connecting all of this. And just depending on how they're put that on, it can create kind of a little bit of a lip. Through, you're gonna stand. The exchange contains rollers and a portal directly above it. The rollers are longer on one side to allow the human player to roll the power cube without directly reaching in to grab it. Okay. Uh, so this center mechanism, uh, the return is basically the exact same as the side feeder stations. Uh, the bottom has all these rollers on here which spin, spin super smoothly. Uh, you can see there's a little ramp leading up into there. Uh, so that it should be possible to just push the cubes in to have them come in. Uh, it should be easy. So, they're just milk crates. Um, you know, milk crates have the teeth that fit into each other, but with these sleeves, they don't really interface well. Uh, so stacking, you don't want to do right on top or else your corner is going to fall in. Uh, offset's probably your best bet. The vault uses laser range finders to determine the amount of power cubes. Teams should keep in mind that if the cube is not in its proper orientation, the system will not count the cubes properly. The end game has a heavy duty round tube welded to two square tubes. The 13 inches of round tubing makes it hard to hang three different robots on the same tube. Make sure to follow our social media and our build blog to stay tuned to any updates.